At least 14 million people are under severe weather alerts in the plains and Midwest. It comes after a weekend of deadly storms and severe flooding inundated Texas. First responders rescued hundreds of people stranded by high water. Priscilla Thompson has more about the massive cleanup. Parts of Texas underwater this morning. Oh, that was floating. After a weekend of deadly flooding ravaged the southeastern part of the state. New video shows rescuers near Dallas desperately searching the high waters for four year old Lucas Warren, who was swept away by raging waters. Tragically, the child was later found dead. Police in Houston using jet skis to pull a man and three dogs out of up to eight feet of water. It was among the more than 500 rescues and evacuations in the Houston area in a matter of days. We personally did close to 100 water evacuations. As the relentless rain submerged homes and sunk cars. The banks are full, the creeks are full, and it's got nowhere else to go. Kingwood residents Erica Gines and Frank Courier say they barely made it out in time. We started looking at the water levels rising and we we're like, yeah, we need to get out of here. And by the time we did, it was this is coming too fast. The couple saved by a high water vehicle now returning home for the first time. Oh my God. But it's just wild to see like how much like damage it does. Yeah. Yeah. And that's overwhelming. As the skies clear, the road to recovery begins. What does rebuilding look like? For these people, it's very difficult. These people might not be back in their homes for a year or two.